So we're going to start using the tee over on this side just to give the ground over there, the grass, a bit of a break. I have a second half starting towards the tented side. And in comes the ball and the clock starts. The imaginary scoreboard clock starts. Alexander on the ball for the Dominican Republic. Heather trying to push him off. Peter Freeman, very neat play by Peter Freeman. Unfortunately, he dropped his stick. Heather going to try and take off after the ball, but Alexander takes a well wide. Oh, he's left it. Keating comes through at speed. Dan Keating might actually get a store here. Dan Keating coming through very fast indeed. He gets the shot. I think he put it wide, though. He just couldn't get it into the center of the goal there. He just came off the cane, put it out, hit into the DR. Umpire kindly picking up Peter Freeman's stick. Well played, Peter, though. Nice backhand. In comes the ball from Alexander Shand. He puts it to Rodolfo. Rodolfo. Oh, he didn't make the play he needed. Rory. I don't know what Rory was thinking. Uh, he was doing something. Heather there and Alexander. Alexander just trying to beat Heather, but you know you're not going to beat Heather at much. Not in this game. Heather's got it. Heather's going to get the backhand now. She does. She gets a nice little pass towards Keating. He was not anticipating. I think he's on a young pony. He didn't quite get the speed and turn he wanted. Backhand from Rodolfo into the pile. Oh, there comes Heather. Rodolfo meets it. It's Dan Keating's got it. Uh, Rory goes in front of Rodolfo. Gets away with that one. Rory going forward now. The number four for the home team. Dan Keating backing him up. Doesn't get it. Oh, lovely. Under the next shot from Pedro. Trying to get the Dominican. Dominican Republic back on the attack. Thank you for putting the boards back. That's brilliant. Smoking cigars and putting boards back. Brilliant. Do more than one thing at a time. <laughs> And a lovely under the neck shot by Rory Torrey. Bam! Look at that bump from him. He's bumped back. Rory gets away with it. Now he's going forward. The number four is giving him some grief. Rory's trying to slow down. He gets the under the neck shot. It's going to run out of play. Or is he going to get to it quick enough? He just... Oh, it just beats him over the back line. Well played Rory Torrey, but beautifully ridden off by Alexander as well. All right, head into DR. we got some life going in this game. And we've got Alexander's going to bring the ball into play. He's got his number three. No, he's going to go across the face of the goal, protect that line that he's got. He goes for the bigger shot, gets the loft away. It's in front of Pedro now. Pedro trying to get over there. He's on to it now. Heather. No, that's Peter Freeman. Hooks his stick. He's backed up by Rodolfo, though. Rodolfo gets it up the field. Rory Torrey on it now. Rory, all bouncing horse. Doesn't get the play he wanted. And now we've got Pedro back onto it. Pedro's moving it forward. Heather's there in defence, well played Heather, gets the backhand, comes off a pony though, Dan Keating meets it and tries to take off, he's taken out of it though by Rodolfo, and that gives Alexander time to turn the ball, and uh, Rory Torrey's going to go for the hook, Rory gets the hook, Dan riding off Mauricio, Heather clears the ball under the net, well played Heather, comes across towards the boards, first to it though is going to be Rodolfo, Rodolfo tries to back it, Rory meets it, oh Rodolfo right in the middle of the play, gets out of the way, the umpires let the play go like that, here comes the ball with Rory, oh, he's left it, Dan Keating tries to bring it up, Rory's going to be the next one to it, where are they going? making it hard for themselves really hard making a complete horlicks of it crikey this is the fastest ball sport in the world ladies and gentlemen sometimes one wonders so now the ball is up over the halfway line Pedro goes to the back end doesn't manage it this is where we want to see Heather Heather going forward come on Heather Heather gets the under the neck no it goes wide I thought she might have got that one Heather, normally so accurate in front of goal. Score remains three to five. The scoreboard is still correct. How many minutes left in the chucker? Three minutes left in this chucker. It's the longest the scoreboard has been correct today. Thankfully, nobody scored a goal. And here comes Alexander at speed. I like this. He says, I'm going to get the other end. Uh-oh, leaves the ball. Mauricio's coming onto it with Keating. Mauricio gets the touch. It's under Keating's pony. Mauricio tries to keep it in play. Doesn't manage it. Comes off Dan's pony. Goes out of play. Hit in to USA. Crikey, for no goals, this is the best chucker we've had so far. Come on, Rory. Keep going. Let's keep going. Keep the blood pumping. Umpires call play. Rory sees Keating. Puts the ball right in front of Keating. Keating begins to take off. Rodolfo tries to get to him. Doesn't manage it. Keating's got another shot. They leave it behind. Peter Freeman. Oh, Alexander brilliantly beats Keating. 
Rory brilliantly actually meets it on the near side, turning quickly. Heather banks out. Oh, leaves it. Oh, and Rory goes across the line in front of Pedro. They don't blow it, though. They let him get away with it. And Mauricio backs it into the middle. Pedro picks it up. Pedro's going forward. Rory's going to get there first. That pony's bouncing away on him. Gets the backhand. What's Heather going to do? She's going to... Oh, she's going to try and turn it. Neat play by Heather. Mauricio's there with her, though. And now we have the number three, Rodolfo, trying to do something. And the whistles go. And we'll see what the umpires decide. Difficult for me to see when it's over in the far corner. The clock is stopped. So now everything is right on the scoreboard, apart from the actual time. It is stopped. How much time we got? A, a minute 44 to go in the th fourth chucker. Hopefully you've all got your door entry forms in for a chance to win a magnum of Verclico Champagne. All right, the umpire said offsetting fouls, so he's going to throw the ball in between the two teams. Carlos throws it in very quickly onto it. Pedro, Pedro under the neck. Heather's going to fly onto it, though. Heather gets, oh, no, it comes off a pony. Dan Keating luckily backing her up, clears the ball a little further away. Peter Freeman and Rory Torrey getting in each other's way. Rory turning up field, needs to make the play. Rodolfo gets there. Rory's fighting for it. Heather's fighting for it. Rodolfo has a go at it. Dan Keating pushes it into the middle. Heather gets in the way. Now it clears it up the field. Mauricio's there, but Rory's got it. Rory needs to play it. You need to move, otherwise we're going to get this piling up of people all the time. Mauricio going for the backhand. Big swing and a miss. Rodolfo going for the backhand. Lovely backhand. Look at that. Right to Alexander. Going Alexander. Take off. Dan Keating's going to get there. They're over the top of it. Heather's there. Heather, oh wow, she missed that by a mile. And the number three, Rodolfo, takes off towards the goal. Dan Keating on the near side, he's going to let it run over the back line. Phew. Another let off. Where have we got seven minutes? We nearly got it working again. It changed to one minute something. So, where are we at? 40 seconds. All right, they need to get this ball up the field because we know that wherever it is when the second bell goes, that's where the next checker starts. So there goes the 30-second bell. Rory needs to get it upfield. He's coming onto the ball now. Doesn't want to take too much time. Oh, look at that. That's the best shot of the day from Rory. He puts it right in front of Peter Freeman. Peter's taking off. Pedro's going to try and get to him. Peter gets the next shot. Pedro's riding him off now. Pedro did enough. Gets a little backhand against the boards over on the far side. And Rodolfo trying to slow up. Mauricio gets a touch on it. Rory Torrey gets a nice backhand along the boards. And there goes the second bell to end the fourth chucker. It was goalless, right? But it actually went end to end, which is good stuff. It was entertaining. So the teams will go off and change their ponies and uh, 